Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang Pythagorean Theorem with Problem Solving. Pythagorean Theorem states that in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So meron tayo rito ang illustration ng right triangle. A and B here are the legs of the triangle. Pwede yung ma-interchange. And C here is the hypotenuse. Then, a square plus B square is equal to C square. So, saan ba na-derive ang formula na iyan? There are many ways to prove the Pythagorean theorem. So, ito yung isa lamang sa way na iyon. So, let's say we have here uh, square A, B, C, D, wherein one side is divided into B and A. Okay? And inside the square, we have a smaller square upside C. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating square, it is composed of four right triangles that are congruent kasi nga magkakapareho sila ng side. Okay? At meron din tayo rito ang smaller square of side C. So, based on the figure, the area of the bigger square is equal to four times the area of the triangles. Ito yon one two three four plus the area of the smaller square which is C square. Okay? So, ang side ng uh, larger square natin na A, B, C, D is A plus B. Kapag pinag plus natin itong A plus B, that is the length of a side of the square. So, that means A plus B square is equal to 2AB plus C square. So, sana ako tinakuha yung 2AB. So, this is 4 times 1 half is 2 and then times AB. Okay? Next, i-expand natin yung a plus b square. This will become a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to 2ab plus c square. And then, we can cancel 2ab and 2ab. Ang matitira is a square plus b square is equal to c square. Okay? So, based on the figure, ang a at b ay legs ng right triangle na ito. Okay? At yung c naman is the hypotenuse. Now, let's have examples here. So, solve the missing sides of the following right triangles. Meron tayo rito ang uh, representation ng right triangle. And we also have here uh, sides A, B, which are the legs of the triangle, and C is the hypotenuse. So, let's solve the first one. A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3, C is unknown, which is the hypotenuse. So, substitute natin siya sa formula. 4 square plus 3 square is equal to C square. So, 4 square is 16. 3 square is 9 is equal to C square. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25 is equal to C square. And then, get the square root. Okay? So, square root of 25 is equal to 5. So, that is the measure of the hypotenuse. Next, number 2. A is equal to B, B is unknown, C is equal to 13. So, substituting this into the formula, we have 5 square plus B square is equal to 13 square. 5 square is equal to 25 plus B square is equal to 13 square is 169. And then, we have B square is equal to 169 minus 25. Nilipat natin yung 25 sa right side. Then, B square is equal to 144. So, get the square root of both sides. B is equal to 12. Okay, so that is the length of the other leg. Next, number 3, A is unknown, B is equal to 24, and C is equal to 25. Substituting this into the formula, we have A square plus 24 square is equal to 25 square. So, A square is equal to 576 is equal to 625. So, ito yung 24 square at 25 square. A square is equal to 625 minus, nilipat yung 576, kaya minus 576. A square is equal to 49, and then get the square root of both sides, A is equal to 7. Number 5, A is equal to 5 square root of 2, B is unknown, C is equal to square root of 25. Substituting this, we have 5 square root of 2 square plus B square is equal to square root of 85 square. So dito, meron tayong 5 square which is 25. And then, square root of 2 square, tanggalin lang yung radical sign natin, so times 2. Plus b square is equal to 85. Then, b square is equal to 85 minus 50. San galing tong minus 50? Dito sa 25 times 2. So, b square is equal to 35. Get the square root of both sides, then b is equal to square root of 35. Last number, we have a is unknown, B is equal to 2 square root of 3, C is equal to square root of 21. Substituting this, we have A square plus 2 square root of 3 square is equal to square root of 21 square. So, A square plus 
2 square is 4, and then square root of 3 square is 3. Is equal to 21, ito tatanggalin lang natin radical sign. So, a square is equal to 21 minus itong 4 times 3, ilipat natin dito. So, minus 12. a square is equal to 9, then a is equal to 3. Next, dumako naman tayo sa problem solving. So, a rectangular playground is 24 meters long and 7 meters wide. How long will a diagonal walk across it be? We have here the figure of rectangular playground. This is 24 meters long and 7 meters wide. Ang tinatanong is, how long will a diagonal walk across it be? So, ang tinatanong dito is the length of the hypotenuse. So, C, C ang hinahanap natin. So, substitute this into the formula. Pwede magkapalit yung 7 at 24. Okay, so 7 square plus 24 square is equal to C square. 7 square is 49. 24 square is 476 is equal to C square. 49 plus 576 is 625 is equal to C square. Get the square root of both sides, then 25 is equal to C. So therefore, the diagonal walk here is 25 meters. Number 2. A student travels 8 kilometers east and then 6 kilometers south from home to school. How far is he from the starting point? Okay, so let's illustrate first the figure. So from home, the student travels 8 kilometers east, ito yun, and then 6 kilometers south, ito yun, papuntang school. Now how far is he from the starting point? Kukunin natin itong diagonal na distance na ito, which is the hypotenuse. Okay? So, therefore, hinahanap natin tong part na ito, which is C. Okay? So, substituting this, 8 square plus 6 square is equal to C square. Pwede mag-interchange itong 6 at saka 8. Pwede itong 6 square plus 8 square. Okay? So, 8 square is 64. 6 square is 36 is equal to C square. 64 plus 36 is 100 is equal to C square. Get the square root, we have 10. Okay, so that means uh, the student is 10 kilometers from the starting point, which is his home. Number three, a 10 meter ladder leans against a wall of a building so that the foot is 5 meters from the base of the building. How high up the building does the ladder reach? So based on the figure, we have here the ladder which is 10 meters long and the foot of the ladder is 5 meters from the building. So ang hinahanap natin dito is distance ng top of the ladder or yung height of the top of the ladder which is one of the leg of the right triangle. So pwedeng A siya, pwedeng B, uh, nilagay ko is A. So A square plus 5 square, ito yung isang leg is equal to 10 square is the hypotenuse. A square plus 25 is equal to 100. A square is equal to 100 minus 25. Nilipat lang ito. A square is equal to 75. Then A is equal to, get the square root of 75. Meron tayong perfect square na factor nito which is 25. Kaya magiging 5 square root of 3. So that means the top of the ladder reach uh, 5 square root of 3 meters. For the last example, number 4. The diagonals of a rhombus are 30 and 40 units. What is its perimeter? I-draw muna natin ang rhombus. So, meron tayo rito rhombus. And then, ang diagonals niya is 30 and 40 units. Dito, i-apply natin ang properties of rhombus wherein the diagonals are perpendicular and bisect each other. So, dahil na i-bisect nilang isa't isa, Meron tayo rito ang shorter diagonal wherein siya ay 15 at saka 15. Okay? Ang longer diagonal naman is 20 at saka 20 kasi nga siya ay 40 units. Ang shorter diagonal is 30 units. So, ang kailangan natin daw hanapin is perimeter. So, sa perimeter, kailangan natin malaman yung one side of the rhombus. Okay? Dahil ang side ng rhombus ay equal naman. So, dito gagamitin natin ang Pythagorean Theorem. Para makuha ito, which is the length of the hypotenuse. Okay? So, C square. So, C square siya. 15 square plus 20 square is equal to C square. Ito yung dalawang legs. 15 at saka 20. Nung isang right triangle na ito. Okay? So, 15 square is 225 plus 20 square is 400 is equal to C square. 225 plus 400 is 625 is equal to C square. Get the square root, then 25 is equal to C. So, ibig sabihin, ang length of each side of the rhombus is 25. E ang hinahanap ay perimeter. So, P is equal to 4 times 25 is equal to 100. So, the answer here is 100 units.
That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.